folks welcome to my channel my name is Binta and if it's your first time feel free to look around my channel and consider subscribing if you like what you see so today's video is going to be about seasoning this video is, is going to be about an all-purpose seasoning blend okay we're going to be making this with some wet ingredients and a couple of dry ingredients and this seasoning you can use for a lot of things especially when it comes to baking and grilling okay this seasoning can be used on fish it can be used on chicken it can be used on pork it can be used on absolutely anything that you want to season and doing this makes me save a lot of time while cooking and being a mommy and a wife it also helps me save a lot of time so i can do other things okay but yeah guys it is so good it is so yummy and you do not want to miss out on this seasoning because it'll take your cooking to another level so if you would like to see how i make this wet seasoning for all your grills in baking fish meat or chicken then stay tuned and watch the rest of the video so let's get started okay guys so here is all my ingredients and i'm first of all going to show you guys the wet ingredients because this is going to be a combination of wet and dry so let's um look at what we got here when it comes to wet ingredients and the very first thing we got is some bell peppers okay i got one green bell peppers a half a yellow bell peppers and half a red bell peppers okay and the next thing we got is some thyme okay this is some thyme and we have some ginger that we clean and cut into pieces all our vegetables are clean at this point we got some peppers these are jalapeno peppers and i have some habanero chili peppers okay habanero chili peppers very very spicy and I have some onions. I got the sweet onions and of course the red onions. This here is some parsley. Parsley is very, very good in your seasoning and I cannot season without it for some reason, okay? Yeah, but that's some parsley. And we have some scallions, which is green onions. Green onions, the flavor, is amazing into your seasoning it just brings everything to another level and we have lots and lots and lots of garlic lots of garlic okay garlic is very important so where i come from we love garlic and garlic is like a must in every seasoning so that's some garlic and basically that is it for our wet ingredients and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the dry ingredients alrighty guys so this is it for our dry ingredients okay and I got some oregano leaves right here dried oregano leaves I got some allspice seasoning some coriander and each one of these is like a quarter cup a quarter cup of seasoning of each okay a quarter cup of oregano leaves a quarter cup of allspice seasoning a quarter cup of coriander and a quarter cup of anise seed a quarter cup of black pepper a quarter cup of basil right here dried basil a quarter cup of dry mustard okay mustard seeds this is some mustard seeds a quarter cup of paprika and a quarter cup of black pepper black pepper okay so that is it for that one and the last dry ingredients we have is some jimbo cubes and some ajar the ajar is just like some jimbo cubes and this is what ajar looks like it is seasoning just like the maggi cubes or the jimbo cube and you can get both of these at, at the african store any african store you go to probably you will get the aja and the jimbo cubes okay so the last but not the least that we have is 
a cup of oil so this is going to help us in our blending process okay because some of the ingredients are dry some of them are wet but still we need something to help us blend easily so that is some oil and yeah basically that is it for all our ingredients and what we are going to do now is to blend these in our blender today i'm going to be using my blender instead of the food processor because i want these to be as smooth as possible as smooth as i can make them so i'm going to use the blender which gives the seasoning a smoother texture instead so yeah now i'm going to go ahead and just cut some of the um vegetables that needs cutting and we're going to jump into the blending okay Okay, so our vegetables are cut and now I'm just going to give all these dry seasoning a mix. Okay. Yes. Oh, that smells so good. We can make it one dry seasoning at home as well. So good. There you go. Okay guys, so here is our blender and now I am just going to go ahead and put some of my wet ingredients. Because I have a small blender, I'm just going to do half and half, maybe three times. I'll blend three times because this blender is not big enough to get to take all everything that we have because we have a lot. Okay, and this is not a one day seasoning. This is basically... You, I, I'm going to keep it in my fridge and use it for quite a while, for several cookings basically, okay? And yeah, we have some in our blender and I'm going to add some of my Maggi cubes to it. I'm also going to add some of the dry ingredients to it, okay? Okay, now I'm adding some of my oil to it and I'm gonna go ahead and blend on a very high setting. So I took a spoon so that um, the bottom can also blend because it's just stuck at the bottom. And this is the exact reason why you need some oil I don't want to add water because normally when you're cooking when you put things in the oven they kind of like release their own water so I don't want too much water so as you guys can see the um, the thing has reduced now I can add a bit more ingredients to blend okay guys so this is what we have and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in a bowl like so oh that is so smooth 
Look at that. So I'm gonna repeat the same step of blending the remaining ingredients. And let me show you guys what I have here. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Ooh, ooh. Ugh. Your chicken, your meat, your fish, season to the gods. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and repeat the same step and I will be right back to show you guys the final results, okay? Okay guys, so here is our seasoning. We are done and ooh, look at that. That looks so good. And it tastes good, trust me. So, at this point you can taste to see if you have enough salt. If you don't, since we added some Maggi cubes and Aja, you can always add some salt if you want. But with all the Maggi cubes that I added, I'm good, so I don't need salt at all. Yeah guys, so basically that is how you make your own homemade seasoning. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my containers. And I'm gonna keep it in my fridge and this will save me a lot and a lot of time being a wife and a mommy i need to save time as much as i can so this is one of the best ways i save time while cooking because i have kids so you need it okay all right guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and put this in my containers and i have four containers but i was able to fill up three of them and then the other one was just um, a quarter um, left in there but um yeah um that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you do please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and also give me a big thumbs up on this video and yeah a sneak peek of the next video is of course baked fish made in the oven and yeah and this was the seasoning that we used to make this big fish. So watch out for that video because it is coming next. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.